Hi, this is Ray Adams, Charter Financial Planner and Director of Cash Calc. As you may have heard, we recently made an addition to the cash flow modeling tool and we incorporated the Monte Carlo simulator, which runs 10,000 random simulations. We've incorporated that into the stress testing section of the cash flow modeler. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to just dive in and have a look at some of the graphical outputs that you can use the simulation for. So as you can see on screen here now, I've got a pension pot, 500,000, and I've set a linear return at 4.91%. And that's against 2.5% inflation. And the reason I've selected that is because I have another forecast here where I'm doing a variable return also at 4.91%. And the reason I've selected that one or that return is because it's a Tatton Tracker defensive fund and that's averaged 4.91%. And you can see the returns on screen there. So if I go through to the cash flow model now, you can see there's the linear returns and the cash flow running out in the early 90s. And if you do exactly the same as that now on a variable return, you can see it's running out at approximately the same time, even though the returns are variable and you have a little bit of pound cost ravaging. But what I really like now, first of all, let's look at the linear returns. Let's go to the stress testing where you can test market simulations, but in this case, we're going to do the Monte Carlo. Let's press the simulation. Let's select uh, risk profile four. You can go in and edit the average to be exactly what you want to do if it's not quite there as standard. Run 10,000 simulations. And as you can see there, the blue median line is pretty much following the, the linear. And then the green optimistic, which is the 75th percentile, just above it. And the pessimistic 25th percentile, just below it. And of course, you can see some wild variations, uh, you know, showing huge returns of over a million. And that's because running 10,000 simulations, then there are going to be some examples which open up with a 20% return, followed by a 20% return, followed by a 20% return, etc. And then the opposite of that is opens up with negatives. Let's look at a slightly more volatile one now because that was a risk profile four. So you've got a, the same 500,000 pound pot, variable return, but instead of the tracker defensive. We've done the Tatton Tracker Cautious now, which is 5.89% return. Go down to the cash flow model. And as you can see in this situation now, the client doesn't run out of money, We've got a greater level of volatility, but they've got less than 100,000 left, assuming they live till 100. So let's just go and have a look at the Monte Carlo. This time we've gone from a risk profile of four up to risk profile five. Set the average at 5.89, because that's the same as the Tatton's returns. Run the 10,000 simulations. And as you can see, right at the start, there were some good years and the, um, the overlaid projections have varied above and below that blue line, but as you can see, it's pretty much followed it all the way. And then you've got, because this is a greater volatility, the optimistic green line is even higher and the pessimistic orange line is even lower. But as you can see, when demonstrating to the client, I think they'd pretty much get that. I think it's a fabulous, fabulous addition to the cash flow tool. And um, please use it and give us your feedback and let us know what you think. And if there's any ways we can improve it, feel free to let us know. Thanks very much, guys.